What a wonderful morning here in the Nicene Mark State Park Redwood Forest. I just woke up from my slumber and now I'm about to start my day doing regular banana slug things like eating decomposed plant material and leaving slime trails all over the place. Yay! Anyways, hold on one second. I'm a little hungry. I'm gonna need a bite to eat. Ugh, this isn't decomposed. It's still alive. Much too strong a flavor for my liking. Hold on one second, folks. Ah, that hit the spot. I've gotten my hands free of that bottle. I can go looking around for some of my slug buddies and seeing what's good in the forest. Come on guys, let's go. Hey Otis, what's up? Listen bub, we have some things we need to discuss. Why did I just find your water bottle down here at Sea Cliff State Beach? Oh man, you found my water bottle? Thanks so much Otis. I'm so slimy, I couldn't hold on to it. I'll head down there right now to pick it up. See you soon Otis. <sighs> this slug out of shape. <sighs> Sorry for the wait, Otis. I tried to move as fast as I could to get here, but I'm a slug. Thanks for grabbing my bottle, by the way. Yeah, whatever. Oh, what's the big deal, Otis? It was just one water bottle. I don't even know how it ended up down here anyway. Even though we both live in two different ecosystems, they're connected by this watershed next to us. This stream runs throughout Nicene and drains out here at the ocean. While these two mini ecosystems may seem unrelated, they aren't. Your actions in the forest can affect those down here at the beach. And it's not just one water bottle, Sam. I see dozens of them each week at my home. How would you like to wake up to other people's trash in your house every day? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't you crack open a cold muscle and chill out, Otis? I'm sure if someone else saw this trash, they would immediately pick it up. Here's the thing, Sam. You can't rely on others to pick up after you. Not only is it lazy, it can be very damaging to the surrounding environment and can exist in the environment for quite a long time. Like, how long? A year? More like 450 years. Uh... Okay, um, maybe you're right about it being a big deal. Yeah, I know I'm right. Let me show you why it's a bad idea to litter. Follow me. Sam, this is what happens when you don't pick up after yourself. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Otis, I can't believe I littered. Tell me, Otis, what can I do to make sure I don't hurt the environment anymore? Well, Sam, one of the easiest things you can do is switch from single-use water bottles to reusable ones like this one. Not only do they look cool, you can put stickers on it, and you can use it more than once. Wow. Here. You can have this one. Oh, man. Otis, thank you so much, buddy. What else can I do to help the environment, Otis? Well, when you're down at the beach, Sam, you can help pick up trash. Oh, really? Can we go pick some up now? Yeah, we can. And I've got this nifty trash picker upper that we can use. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> 
Well, Lotus, thank you so much for teaching me about the interconnectedness of our ecosystems, the dangers of plastic, and the importance of keeping our beaches clean. I'll make sure to educate others now. Anytime, Sam. Well, you know what? It's getting pretty late. I think I'm gonna head back home now. Sam, it's barely noon. Do you know how long it takes me to move my yellow butt? I'm looking at a crawl of at least five hours. And that's not including traffic. Alrighty, Sam. Thank you for coming down to the beach and hope to see you here again. Bye, Otis. Bye. <laughs>